Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat, and recently I finished rereading the rough draft of my Project DE. And now that I've done that, it's time to talk about what my next steps and goals are for this project. I've been horribly off in trying to make goals for myself in the past, and I've been horribly wrong when I try to think about how long it takes me to write things, and my word counts are always wildly off. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick short history about my Project DE and some of the milestones that I've already had along the way. I call the project that I'm currently working on DE as an abbreviation for the original title, which I don't think works for it anymore. And because I don't wanna to get to attached to a title or something else, I have a couple other like potential titles in mind, but for right now, I know it is DE, so it's staying as DE. But I started my project DE back in July, I believe it was July 13th, 2016. So it's been a minute since I started it, and it's very typical in the writing community for someone to write book number one, try to get that published, and then write a sequel to that, and then turn that into a series. My original goal with my project DE was to write the whole series because that's like, I just wanted to get that story out of my head. And so I started writing in July of 2016, and then I kept writing um, for about three and a half years. And then I figured out that this was a massive project. Originally, I was expecting it to be somewhere between one book that was like four to 600 pages, but three years, six months, and eight days later, on January 21st, 2020, I finished the rough draft, or rather, I had written 260,000 words and finally figured out where a good natural end to the first book would be. And so on January 22nd of this year, 2020, I decided to print out the first 87,000 words of the 260,000 words to get my book one. Then I went into rereading it so that I knew where I stood so that moving forward, I could like start big picture editing. And then on March 12th, I finished rereading it and I had 19 pages of notes that now I get to tackle and will probably deal with before and during Camp NaNoWriMo in April. Here it is, my absolute baby. Um, she's beautiful, it's really thick, it's 189 pages of 1.15 spacing in a Word document, and it's time for the next step. In rereading this manuscript, I remembered, aka read, all of the like parentheses portions I had put in were like, I need to figure out like this thing, I need to like add this to like make the story better and just like fill in portions. And as I said earlier, I'm always really bad at like guesstimating what it's actually going to need. But right now I'm gonna say I'm going to add somewhere between 15,000 and 20,000 words just in those parentheses sections. That alone will get me to or above 100,000 words in this project. Project. During the reread, I also took lots and lots of notes in this notebook about what I want to change as far as big picture editing goes. And so I think my overarching goal for this time from like now, which is March 13th to the end of April, is to finish round one of edits on my project DE. That means that I need to start with tackling one of the three perspectives in the book. I think I'm going to start with the smallest of the three perspectives, which is also the most like neatly organized and put together perspective so that I can feel like I'm making a lot of progress, tighten that one up, fix those issues, um, because that's also the one that I think that needs the most to be filled in right now. And then after that's tackled, then I'll move on to the middle length of the three perspectives and I'll work on that. And then I'll work on the long perspective, which is going to be a lot of work. As I'm working through each of the three perspectives, my goal is to read through um, all the notes that I took in here. I took a total of 19 pages of notes for the 189 page document. And what I'm gonna do is go through by each of the perspectives and highlight the big picture notes that I made. Some were like mid-size and I need to just ignore those for right now, but 
go through, highlight the big picture, things that need fixing, deal with that, and then move on to the next perspective. As a part of this, I want to make my April Camp NaNoWriMo website. I want to like update it with my goals. And I think my goal this year, I'm not going to do a word count because I'm editing. I think I'm going to do time. And I've heard that the website does not handle hours very well. So I think I'm going to do it by minutes. I think I'm going to shoot for an hour every day in April. So a total of 30 hours or 1,800 minutes for the entire April Camp NaNoWriMo, so for the total of the 30 days. And so right as you sign into campnanowrimo.org, right here at the top, it says, are you ready for your next great writing adventure? Join Camp NaNoWriMo this April and set a word count goal of your own for any writing project. So I'm going to join the camp and then fill out these stats. The name of my project is DE. What is the project status? I it's all drafted. Now I just have to edit it. How much privacy do you want? I want it to be public. What type of project is this? It's a novel. And then I am associating with Camp NaNoWriMo April 2020. On to my goal. Oh, it looks like for this one you have to put in a word goal. And then it asks you what type of goal this is, and my options are writing or editing, and because I'm editing, I chose editing. And then it asks what is your goal in words, and that's literally my only option, so I might have to do this in words. Because I'm editing, I think I'm going to enter in 87,000 words, or should I enter what my goal I think is going to be, which is going to be around 100. I don't know. This is hard. I entered that I will be editing 87,000 words. What is the current total word count? Um, but I'm editing, so I'm just gonna enter in 87,000. Hopefully that doesn't mess up the system. What is the current total word count? 87,000 words, which is crazy. What is the genre? Um, it's a fantasy, add a project summary. I don't know if I wanna do that. Add an excerpt, I've just skipped that in the past. You can attach a project's Pinterest, which is interesting, and then a project's playlist. That's cool. And then I'm going to save my project. So I just set up my account for April 2020 and it's telling me that my goal is to write 50,000 words, even though we all know that that's not what I just entered. So hopefully it figures its stuff out and corrects itself. But that's my plan and prep for Camp NaNoWriMo April 2020. Thank you so much for watching this video, you guys. If you guys are participating in Camp NaNoWriMo in April, comment your username below because I would love to connect with you guys about this. If you are not already subscribed, I noticed that 80% of my viewers are not subscribed, so I would really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you guys can get alerted when I post new videos because I post twice a week and Camp NaNoWriMo April is coming up and so I will be posting twice a week on how my Camp Nano project is going. Also, if you have not already hit the like button, please do so down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Sarah Labrat. I post videos twice a week. I try to post on Mondays and Thursdays. That doesn't always happen. But I'll see you guys next week for another video. Bye.